Hi guys and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on a Raspberry Pi 4 desktop setup. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so here we are, my desktop. Uh, we can launch uh, the imager software from uh, Raspberry. Uh, if you followed my previous video, you'll already get this installed. Alternatively, uh, you can go on the Raspberry website. I'll put the link in the description below uh, where you can download the imager for Windows, for Mac or for Ubuntu because you're using already a Linux version in your machine. Uh, so, um, here under Choose operative system the previous time we installed the standard uh, debian operative system which is the classic for the raspberry pi this time we will need to go under other general purpose operative system and here we will find uh, other few options what we want to install this time is ubuntu and once again we have uh, several options because ubuntu is also used for server side uh, uh, stuff so what we want is Ubuntu desktop, you can click. And then we have to choose the storage so we can insert our uh, micro SD card. That should be ready. Yes, it's empty, it's new. So choose storage. There we go, it's a 31, it's a 32 gigabytes uh, micro SD card. Okay, and then we click on write. Uh, that's basically telling you that everything will be erased yes you want to do that and so ensure to use an SD card that uh, it's either empty or whose contact uh, uh, you don't need and click on yes that's gonna take quite a longer time compared to the Debian uh, system and that's because uh, Ubuntu is actually heavier than Debian you will see why it comes with uh, uh, package of uh, desktop application and uh, and also has some uh, other cool interesting feature so we will now wait for it to complete so at the end of uh, the process you are normally presented with uh, a windows pop-up asking you to format the disk obviously don't do that just give cancel uh, so Ubuntu Desktop 2010 has been written, you can remove the card, click on continue and you are done. You can now extract your micro SD card, insert it on the Raspberry Pi 4 and you're good to go. Okay guys, so let's now switch the micro SD card in the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, let's not forget that we will need a set of wire, the keyboard and mouse in order to do the initial uh, installation. After that, we'll be able to pair uh, our wireless uh, keyboard and mouse. All right, let's get into it. Let's now power it up and let's see what happens. Our display is giving, oh, colorful. Keyboard and mouse are giving signal, so they are successfully powered. All right, seems like the installation is uh, starting straight away. Let's now see Ubuntu. There we go. This is... Um, as you've seen, there is the logo of the... Right, let's select the language first. English, continue. Try to speed up a little bit. This. Okay. Continue. All right. I'll connect my Wi-Fi. Insert the password. I'm supposed to be able to connect now.
let's insert username and password and now the installation should take place I believe we are almost ready Right, we are ready to log in. See, it's gonna ask me the password. There we go, guys. So we are inside. We can skip for now everything. Okay guys, as you can see, we can install any operative system we want in our Raspberry Pi and it takes really few steps. It's very easy. Uh, for instance, we could also install uh, Windows operative system if we would like, but I don't personally recommend that to you because uh, Windows operative system is particularly heavy compared to Linux based uh, operative system. Uh, the other interesting fact about the Raspberry Pi, uh, because the operating system is actually, in OS, as we've seen, on a micro SD card, we can prepare several micro SD cards and to have different systems that we can swap depending on our needs. So I got Debian, Ubuntu, Kali Linux. I could get, for instance, uh, a simple media player so you can see uh, your. Um, movies in the in the old tv i can install any kind of uh, flavor of linux and there are hundreds of different flavors for completely different applications so it's up to you what uh, what what are your needs and uh, what you can do with it all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it don't forget to to give a thumb up in the button below and to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one ciao for now